Before I start the drawing, let me show you first the cross section I extracted from this model. So the first cross section is this perimeter, which is what I'm going to do is hide this one first, which is this face here. And then I extracted a cross section in between these two points. So what I did is slice this one. So I'm just going to hide this portion here. So hide. So this face is this one, the inner one. And uh, the next one would be, I cut this portion from the end of this rod to this point here. So what I'm going to do is hide this one. So the distance from the center here to the center of this cross section is uh, 17.38 as shown in this dimension here so this one so i cut so what happened i cut from this quadrant or this center up to this point so the cross section is this one this cross and uh, if you look at the cross section of this drive tip if you project it this is the dimension and for the end of the drive tip is this one here. So which is this one. So this is the dimension for this end. Alright. So what I'm going to do is um, right click anywhere on the screen and select an object isolation. Alright. So what I'm going to do now is minimize this one and create a new drawing. So go to um, the ribbon or up beside the AutoCAD icon click new and since I'm using millimeters I'm gonna use Akadiso 3D template for metric units and click open and go to view and select tile vertically I'm just gonna arrange this one so just click this window to move it to the other side and click tile vertically again all right and make sure to work on parallel projection by clicking this drop down arrow by the view cube and select parallel and I'm gonna start working from southwest isometric maybe northeast and point your go to home and inside the coordinates panel Select Z axis vector and click anywhere and just point it to this direction. I'm just gonna turn off the grid and make sure your dynamic input is on, polar tracking or ortho mode, object snap tracking, object snap, and selection cycling. Now I'm gonna draw the first cross section, which is this one here. So C for circle, click any anywhere on the screen. Type D for diameter option, enter, and enter 25.4, which is this one here. Now, I'm going to bring my object to front view and draw a line as a guide from center. Move your cursor upward for 19.69. So draw a circle and use that in point a center and enter 8.38 for radius. Now I'm going to array this object. So type A and select the options here and select array polar. Select this object to be arrayed. Right click. And specify center point of array click that in point or center of that circles right click and select items and enter six for the number of items and enter now I'm gonna explode this array objects so X for explode command and select this object now it's individual objects now I'm gonna trim so TR for TR for trim command enter enter twice select that to trim so 
select this one trim that now I'm gonna join the segments by typing J for join command enter and just window the whole thing now this is one object now I'm gonna scale this object to half because uh, this uh, inner core here is half of the size of this parameter so which is this one here see this um, section I uh, showed you earlier so this is a cross section so what I'm gonna do is copy this one first I'm gonna make uh, about four copies just to be safe one two three four I'm gonna use that later so um, this one I'm gonna scale so SC for scale command select this object to be scaled and uh, snap the center and go down to the command window enter 0.5 I'm gonna move this object from center to the end point there all right now I don't need that so I'm just gonna delete this one and uh, hold down the press uh, hold down the shift key and the uh, wheel of your mouse at the same time to move this around and I'm gonna extrude this cross section for 76.20 so extrude this one and go to the modeling panel select extrude command and extrude it backward for 76.2 and enter now I need to move this one from from this point or in or in between these two points but the thing is I think I dimensioned this one wrongly so I'm just gonna delete that uh, annotate linear from that point to this point is 19.05 all right so what I'm gonna do is um, move this one from center attach it to the center here and then another one or maybe I could draw a guide from center move along the z-axis vector make sure to follow the green dash line and enter 19.05 and move this one move from center to that in point and then move this smaller scale from center to the midpoint here of that line see this one here all right I don't think I need that one so just delete that so now I'm gonna hide this one first so select the object hover over isolate and select hide objects so go to home and inside the modeling panel click this drop down arrow and select loft I'm gonna use uh, loft these objects enter and enter again I could bring back my hidden object so just right click anywhere on the screen hover over isolate and select an object isolation now I'm gonna use press pull command to uh, pull this face here for 6.35 so inside the modeling panel select press pull command hover over this face and pull this out for 6.35 and enter the next thing I'm gonna do is apply fillet on this edge and the radius for that is 2 so go to solid select fillet edge go down to the command window click radius option and enter 2 enter and select loop option and select this edge select next accept enter and enter again
Now for the shank, which is this one here, I'm going to create a circle. And the diameter for this one is 6.35. So C for circle, snap the center, type D for diameter option, and enter 6.35. Now extrude this circle and the distance from this point to this end here is 95.25. So snap the circle. Extrude for 95.25 and enter. Now for the drive tip. I have to create this um, cross section here first. So what I'm going to do is bring this drawing to front view. And then create this cross. And as you can see here, there's um, this is an arc actually at the end of the cross. And uh, so what I'm going to do is create a circle, C for circle, and the distance is uh, 6.45, so D for the meter option, and enter 6.45, which is this one. And I'm going to create a line from quadrant to quadrant. Another line from quadrant to quadrant. And the thickness for that is 1.33. So half of... one point thirty three divided by 2 equals 0.665. So I'm going to offset these lines. So O for offset. Enter. And enter 0.665. Click this line, click here, click this line, and click here. Same this process here above that line, click that line, and click below that line. Now I'm gonna trim the lines. So TR for trim, come on, enter twice. Just trim that and clean up here. Trim again. And enter. Now I'm going to join the segments by typing J for join command. And just window the whole thing. Now I'm going to move this one. And as you can see the distance from this end here to this point where we cut the object is 17.83. So I'm just going to draw a line as a guide from center and along the z-axis vector enter 17.83 and enter. Now I'm going to move this object, move from the center and attach it here. And the last one is the edge here. So again, I'm going to bring my drawing to front view and create a cross and the distance from this quadrant here to this quadrant because this is an arc is 1.32. So I'm just going to use circle, type D for the meter option and enter 1.32 and enter. Now the same process, I'm just going to use line from quadrant to quadrant, another line from quadrant to quadrant, and half of 0.26 is 6, I oh know, okay, calculator. Okay. 
0.13 so offset and enter 0.13 select this line click here and now trim command so tr for trim command enter twice Now I'm going to join the segment, so J for join command. We can do the whole thing. Now this is one object. Now the distance from this cross section here to this point is the difference of this one and this one. So 31, so calculator again. 31.75 minus 17.83 13.92 so I'm just I'm just gonna draw a line again from center for 13.92 and move this one from center to that in point now I need a circle because I'm gonna use uh, loft command and just snap the quadrant what I'm gonna do is hide this one first and then select loft command inside the modeling panel select this circle this object and this object right click to enter and enter again and I'm just gonna right click anywhere on the screen hover over isolate and select an object isolation and I think we are done now I'm just gonna apply materials so what I'm gonna do is minimize this one maximize this object Type in MA and from the options here select materials now click this drop down arrow by the Autodesk library and select plastic uh, select this high gloss burnt red click this arrow to bring it up here and then select um, for the and select coarse textured Maybe dark gray and click this arrow and again select uh, click this drop down arrow and select metal and I'm just gonna use this aluminum frame dark bronze uh, satin click this arrow I'm gonna drag this one and drop it here and maybe and click that uh, pen to adjust the color and texture of the image I'm just gonna bring it to lighter color click OK and for the image I'm gonna make it lighter here glossiness maybe make it lesser reflectivity there I think that's better all right and close that and for this one just uh, drag this coarse textured gray and drop it to the handle now I'm gonna apply color other color for the red so hold down the control key and just drag this one and drop it here keep on holding down and drop it here hold down drop it here so 
same process. I should do it here. Here. All right. And for this side, And again, for this side here, oh no, undo uh, this one here. Oops, undo. check that looks okay and maybe red for this face there you go and I could adjust the the lights so go to uh, visualize click this up down arrow and select exposure setting and just make it lighter and I think we are done. I think I'm going to make this shinier. So MA again. MA and select uh, materials. And for the aluminum, I'm going to make it uh, the glossiness. I'm going to make it shiny. There you go. Close, close. And I think we're done. So thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe by hitting that subscribe button. And bell icon to get notified for the next tutorial. See you again.